First, I'm delighted to confirm that in conjunction with our private equity ownership, Millpoint Capital, we've acquired Flomon from its current ownership group. The combined solution will provide deep end-to-end -end insights and visibility across both the network, but also the application layer. We'll be able to detect and respond to a broad range of anomalies across the full stack. Um, Interior should make applications more resilient, responsive, secure, um, Jerry and his team have done a really fantastic job since their inception in scaling that business, building out a superb solution over the last decade or so, and we're really thrilled to have them on board. We started Flomon 12 years ago, and it was a result of a long-term academic re uh, research, uh, which was applied on two universities and Czech National Research and Education. We have customers in 40 countries, 140 people and we serve our customers with network performance monitoring and diagnostics together with network detection and response. So we combine network visibility with network security. We are uniquely positioned within Gartner, one of the three companies in the world which can do that. And our customers actually go from anywhere from 100 computers in the network up to the biggest telcos. For Kemp, our application experience story is, is, is really key to our strategy. Um, for me, it's about simplifying deployments, that holistic view of your application environment. Um, we're unique in providing very flexible licensing options, and we back that up with world-class technical support. Now, from a Flowmon context, Flowmon will help us to provide network-centric view that will allow us to offer more actionable insights. If you couple that with layer seven app response, network or server performance, you can provide that user with highly relevant context, irrespective of the environment, be it on-prem or cloud. I believe Flowmon has a great advantage in technology. We actually started the security part of our product as a reserve project for US government. And we started that uh, more than 10 years ago. So now when network detection response is becoming the hot topic and there are many companies entering uh, this market, we have a unique advantage of like 200 algorithms combined in more than 40 detection methods. From the future perspective, what's very much important is that we use network telemetry data. We don't need to see all the packets. Uh, we don't need to do full packet capture. So once all the networks are encrypted, our algorithms are still working. We are working with the behavior analysis, anomaly detection. We combine several algorithms for uh, machine learning and this will be like future proof if everything is encrypted flowmon is still working initially enterprises uh, will see benefit will be softer benefits based on say bundling and supply chain benefits however there's a lot of work underway to have a common platform and usability so initially it'll be api integration um, eventually more tightly coupled we can see many times customers having network teams and security teams separately and they don't cooperate, they don't have one tool to coordinate their activities, to be effective, uh, to manage their network and secure their network. We are happy to see that what we are doing last 10 years is now being recognized as a trend by the analysts, NetSecOp, and uh, we enable cooperation of those two teams within one tool and enable well-performing and secure network in the organizations. Now, what I'm very excited about with, with, with this acquisition is we're going to have a much expanded R&D capability um, across three significant development sites. So the Flowman Bruno site is going to be our biggest development site, uh, Kemp's Limerick Ireland site, um, and the New Delhi India site, which we officially opened earlier this year, which was after our LitOps acquisition from 2019. This is the first time I see the combination of technology fit, geographical fit, and culture fit. So I'm excited about that opportunity, and I'm excited about the opportunity to get Flowmon to another market. So I really believe that's a very unique combination uh, we can do together. Both companies are channel organizations and always have been, and that's not changing. Uh, we depend on trained, motivated partners to build and maintain our business. And that's key to our, our channel strategy and our, and our go-to-market strategy. Um, 
The good news is camp partners will have access to the Flowman suite of products. We're building out launch materials right now and we'll drive a consistent channel strategy on a market by market basis. So there's no distributor overlap. Um, we will have a tiered partner program and that will be based on technical competency, business focus, project registrations. Similarly, any Flowman partners today who are interested will be trained to sell and support the Kemp Loadmaster family of products going forward. During our R&D times, we have built the most perf highest performance technology for monitoring uh, of the networks. And from that time, we are trying to expand and help uh, as many clients globally as we can. And uh, it takes time to build the market. So I'm excited that with CAM acceleration, uh, we can go much faster, expand to the US, expand to the Western Europe. Now, the geographic map works out really well for us. Uh, Flowman have great strength in Eastern Europe markets. We have a strong Western European focus. Japan is a very impressive channel for Jiri and his Flowmon team. Um, they're number two behind Cisco in that market. Uh, we don't have a strong presence there, but we have a very strong presence in places like Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, Greater China. Um, and, and then you come to our, our domestic US market, which is very strong for Kemp. It's in its infancy for Flowmon. Um, there is certainly a big upside in combining the resources from a go-to-market perspective. I'm excited about the opportunity to add visibility, network visibility to load balancers and then add analytics in the cloud locally as is required by the company and apply both the visibility of the network and the security algorithms and detection. So I believe that all the client base of CAM, more than 10,000 customers can benefit on the longer term from the technologies that we are developing in Flowmon. It gives us a platform across network um, and application. And if you, if you think further down the line, um, we, we it allows us to be able to build out that platform that, that links with other partners, other partnership uh, approach so that there's a, a single viewpoint that our customers can get. We believe we have the same values in that. Uh, we try to help our customers, even though they are just out of the support. Uh, the problem is not directly related to Flowmon, but it's something, uh, some problem around. So this uh, excitement about providing good support and uh, the usability of the product for the customers are very strong values for both companies. So I'm very happy for that. A year out, I hope we're no longer carrying masks around and they're a distant memory for us and that maybe international travel is is maybe allowed and encouraged going forward. Um, it'd be great to get people physically together in the same location safely. I'm looking forward to see like Flowmon technologies all around the world and I believe it will be able to multiply the number of customers we are helping today. So I'm excited about that opportunity. A high success uh, categorization for me is what our net promoter score is, our internal net promoter score across all our employees and our external net promoter score uh, with customers. It would be really impressive if we had several hundreds of our customers using the two technologies in their production environments. A single product roadmap, we would certainly have that by then. And just generally people enjoying coming to work every day, that's usually a great indicator of success.